So here we are using the format that is a power 0 is 1. Similarly here a now x cube whole square can be written as x power 3 into 2. What is 3 into 2? Whole power n. a power m whole power n can be written as a power m into n. If you observe the given problem is also in the form a plus b into a minus b. Reverse is what? a power m plus n can be written as a power m into a power n. So here I have 3 power 0. Instead of 3 power 0 I will write 1. Welcome to the session dear students. So we are going ahead with theory of indices. In that we start with exercise problems. So exercise 3.1, third chapter, third chapter first exercise 3.1 will start with. So they are asking you to simplify. These are all simple one markers. They want you to simplify. 5 power, 5 power 0 plus 5 square power 0 this is a question or if you know anything power 0 we have very important uh, law of indices anything power 0 is what 1 a power 0 is what 1 so here you can see 5 let it be in the numerator 5 power 0 what is 5 power 0 1 plus 5 square what is 5 square 25 power 0 again anything power 0 is what 1 5 square is 25 but anything power 0 is 1. So now we have 5 power 1 is 5 plus 1 answer is 6. So here we are using the format that is a power 0 is 1. Example 5 power 0 is 1. What is 6 power 0? 1. Number power 0 is 1. That is an important formula you should know. What is a power 0? 1. This is a formula we used. And finally we got 6. Next. 5x cube by y whole square. So now 5x cube by y whole square they want. So now take square inside. So it will become 5 square x cube whole square. Denominator y also will get square. Further that can be written as you know 5 square is 25 x power 3 to the it is in the form a per m whole per n. a per m whole per n is a per m p into n. So it will become 3 into 2 divided by y square that is 25 x power 6 divided by y square. This is the value. Here I am using a per m whole per n. Or if you know one of the basic format in laws of indices a power n whole power n. What is a power m whole power n? a power m into n. Similarly here you have x cube whole square can be written as x power 3 into 2. What is 3 into 2? 6. So it will become x power 6. Next a power x plus 5 into a power 2x minus y. So they give a power x plus y into a power 2x minus y. Now if you carefully observe this, this is in the form a power m into a power n. What is a power m into a power n? a power m plus n. So I can write x plus y plus 2x minus y. That will become a power x plus 2x is 3x, y minus y cancels. So a power 3x is the final answer. Here what is the law of indices we are using? We are using the law of indices that is a power m into a power n. What is a power m into a power n? a power m plus n. If the bases are same, you can add the powers. Here bases are same, a, a. So add the powers. x plus y plus 2x minus y. And plus y minus y cancels. x plus 2x becomes 3x. Next we have cube root of x square whole cube power half. So here we use the format. So you know all of you know one of the important formula qth root of a. qth root of a can be written as a power 1 by q. We will use this. From internal we will write the external values. That is see here this is cube root of. What is this cube root of? Can I write x square cube root can be written as 1 by 3 whole power we have 3 again whole power we have 1 by 2 further you know a per m whole power n so repeatedly we can use this that is a per m whole power n what is a per m whole power n a power m into n a per m whole power n is a power m into n 
same thing we use here that is x power 2 into 1 by 3 x square let it be I write 1 by 3 into 3 1 by 3 into 3 whole power we have half so now 3 3 cancels we are left out with x square whole power 1 by 2 again use a power m whole power n a power m whole power n can be written as a power m into n so this can be written as a power 2 into 1 by 2 so 2 2 cancels I am left out with x power 1 that is x is the answer see we use two formats one cube root of a cube root of a can be written as a power 1 by q similarly I have cube root of x square cube root of x square can be written as x square internal term as it is power in spite of cube root you can write power 1 by 3 now multiply these two three cancels then you will have 2 whole square then multiply these two two cancels you will be having 1 that is x next we have x power half plus y power half into x power half minus y power half we can use term wise multiplication see here simple technique is we can use what is called as a plus b into a minus b so after i observe the problem you can think about this what is a plus b into a minus b a plus b into a minus b can be written as a square minus b square simple if you observe the given problem is also in the form a plus b into a minus b so so i can write x power half plus y power half into x power half minus y power half now it is in the form a plus b into a minus b i can write it as a square minus b square i can write x power x square minus y square now a per m whole per n a per m whole per n can be written as a per m into n so it becomes x per half into 2 minus y per half into 2 now you can cancel the terms 2 to cancels what is left out we are left out with x minus y after simplification we will get x minus y here we use other form what is the other format we use we use a power m whole power n what is a power m whole power n a power m into n so loss of indices all the loss it should be thorough with what is a power m whole power n a power m into n and we are using identity a plus b into a minus b a plus b into a minus b can be written as a square minus b square a square means this whole square minus b square means this whole square and it is in the form a power m whole power n a power m into n next we have two markers you want you to simplify this again if you observe numerator it is in the form a per m into a per n what is a per m into a per n a per m plus n what is a per m by a per n a per m minus n two basic law of indices will use to solve this what is the first basic law of indices that is a power m into a power n what is a power m into a power n a power m plus n and the other one is a power m by a power n what is a power m by a power n a power m minus n so now use the law of indices to simplify now we'll take lhs that is or we'll take the given problem a power 2m plus n into a power 3m plus n divided by a power 4m plus 2n this is a given problem numerator basis are same when the bases are same i can use this formula a per m into a per n can be written as a per m plus n so i can write the numerator as a per m plus n a per 2m plus n plus 3m plus n divided by a power a power 4m plus 2n now numerator further simplify it become a power so 2m plus sorry this is 3m here we have m so 2m plus 3m what is 2m plus 3m 5m and n plus n 2n divided by a power 4m plus 2n now it is in the form a power m by a power n a power m by a power n can be written as a power m minus n so a power 5m plus 2n if you take this 4m up it will become minus 4m plus 2n comes up it will become minus 2n so a power 5m minus 4m is m 2n minus 2n becomes 0 or 2n minus 2n cancels so final answer is a power m so we are using a power m by a power n what is a power m by a power n a power m minus n 
next 2 power n plus 1 plus 2 power n minus 1 by 2 power n plus 2 power n plus 2. Here if you see in between we have plus sign. So, whenever we have plus sign we have to simplify carefully. We do not have any law of indices with plus in between. So, plus in between cannot be disturbed. So, 2 power n plus 2 power n plus 2. What we do is simple. All of you know law of indices will reverse apply that a power m into a power n can be written as a power m plus n. Do you agree? Reverse is what? a power m plus n can be written as a power m into a power n. So, I will do that. So, now what I will do? 2 power n plus 1 can I write it as 2 power n into 2 power 1 plus 2 power n minus 1 I will write it as 2 power n into 2 power minus 1 divided by 2 power n let it be plus 2 power n plus 2 can I write it as 2 power n into 2 square. Now in the numerator I can take what common? 2 power n I can take common. So, I will take 2 power n common. If I take 2 power n common I will be left out with 2 power 1 plus 2 power minus 1 divided by 2 power n if I take common I will be left out with 1 plus 2 square. So, now 2 power n 2 power n you can cancel 2 power n and 2 power n. Now simplify the remaining part. To simplify the remaining part, 2 power 1 is 2, 2 power minus 1. All of you know a power minus m. What is a power minus m? What is a power minus m? a power minus m is 1 by a power m. So 2 power minus 1. What is 2 power minus 1? 2 power minus 1 is 1 by 2 divided by 1 plus 2 square is 4. So 2 to the 4 plus 1 by 2 numerator. Denominator 1 plus 4, 5. That is numerator is 5 by 2, denominator is 5. So, I can write it as 5 by 2 into 5. 5 by cancels, answer is 1 by 2, that is it. So, 2 to the 4 LCM, 2, 2 is the LCM, 2 to the 4 plus 1 5, 5 by 2 by 5, 5 5 cancels 1 by 2. Next, 3 power 0 whole cube plus 3 square whole power 0, 3 power 0 whole cube plus 3 square power 0 divided by 3 square whole square plus 3 power 3 power 0. So, anything power 0 is 1, 1 cube plus 3 square is 9 power 0 divided by 9 square plus 3 power 0. 3 power 0, anything power 0, what is anything power 0? Anything power 0 is 1. So, here I have 3 power 0, instead of 3 power 0, I will write 1, because all of you know, what is the formula, you know, a power 0, what is a power 0, 1, anything power 0 is what, 1. So, now simplify that. So, we will be left out with 1 cube is 1, plus 9 power 0, anything power 0 is 1, 9 square is 81, plus 3, that is it. Then 1 plus 1 is 2, divided by 84. Further, you can divide 2, 1s are 2. 2 4 is a 2 2 is a 1 by 42 is the answer 2 1 is a 2 4 is a 2 2 is a. Here this will become 1 because 3 power 0 anything power 0 is 1 1 cube is 1 this will become 1 because 3 square is 9 9 power 0 is also 1 and so 1 plus 1 numerator is 2 denominator in the power it will become 1 so 3 like that. Next simplify this a power m by a power n. So a power m by a power n I can write it as a power m minus n a minus b power we have a plus b into x power b by x power c is b minus c power b plus c into x power c by a can be written as c minus a power c plus a. I am using a formula a power m by a power n. What is a power m by a power n? All of you know a power m by a power n. What is a power m by a power n? a power m minus n. Take the denominator up. So, here a by b, b if you take up it will become a minus b. Here b by c, b if you are c if you take up b minus c like that. Now use one more formula. What is a power m whole power n? What is a power m whole power n? a power m whole power n can be written as a power m into n. So if you use that, the problem reduces now a minus b into a plus b. x power a minus b into a plus b. x power b minus c into b plus c x power c minus a into c plus b, c plus a. Now it is in the form a plus b into a minus b. All of you know the formula a plus b into a minus b. What is a plus b into a minus b? a plus b into a minus b can be written as a square minus b square. Similarly, a minus b into a plus b, you can rewrite. 
एक्स पावर ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर इंटू एक्स स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर माइनस सी स्क्वायर इंटू एक्स पावर सी स्क्वायर माइनस ए स्क्वायर नो बेसस आर सेम इफ बेसस आर सेम यू कैन ऐड द पावर्स सो इट बिकम एक्स पावर ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर माइनस सी स्क्वायर प्लस सी स्क्वायर माइनस ए स्क्वायर सो नो इक्वल एंड ऑपोजिट टर्म्स यू कैन कैंसल सो प्लस ए स्क्वायर माइनस ए स्क्वायर कैंसल्स प्लस बी स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर कैंसल्स माइनस ए स्क्वायर कैर प्लस सी स्क्वायर कैंसल्स आफ्टर यू कैंसल ऑल द टर्म्स वी आर लेफ्ट आउट विथ एक्स पावर जीरो एनीथिंग पावर जीरो इज वन एनीथिंग पावर जीरो इज वॉट वन नेक्स्ट टू पावर सेवन बी माइनस टू ए टू पावर सेवन बी माइनस टू ए इंटू एट पावर टू ए माइनस बी डिवाइडेड बाई सिक्सटीन पावर ए प्लस बी सी हियर आई हैव टू हियर यू हैव एट हियर आई हैव सिक्सटीन सो ट्राई टू मेक द बेसस सेम इफ यू वॉन्ट टू यूज लाफ इंड ऑलवेज द बेसस शुड बी सेम बट हियर एट इज देर एट कैन बी रिटर्न एस टू क्यूब हियर सिक्सटीन इज देर सिक्सटीन कैन बी रिटर्न एस टू पॉर फोर सो वॉट आई डू न्यूमरेटर टू पॉर सेवन बी माइनस टू ए लेट इट बी इन स्पाइट ऑफ एट कैन आई राइट इट एस टू क्यूब टू क्यूब होल पॉवर टू ए माइनस बी डिनोमिनेटर इन स्पाइट ऑफ सिक्सटीन कैन आई राइट टू पॉर फोर टू पॉर होल फोर पॉवर ए प्लस बी Now further I'll simplify this. If I do that, I'll get numerator is two power seven b minus two a into two power multiply this three to the six a minus three b divided by two power laugh indices a per m whole per n is a per m into n. So four into a four a plus four into b four b. Now numerator it is in the form a per m into a per n a per m into a per n is a per m plus n so seven b minus two a plus six a minus three b divided by we have what two per four a plus four b so numerator you simplify it will become two per seven b minus three b seven minus three is four b minus two a plus six a plus four a divided by two per four a plus four b Now it is in the form a per m by a per n. a per m by a per n is a per m minus n. Take it up, so it will become two per four b plus four a minus four a minus four b. So equal and opposite terms cancels. So positive four b, negative four b cancels. Four a minus four a cancels, and you are left out with two per zero. Two per zero. You know anything per zero is what one. One is the final answer. After simplification of this whole thing, we got one. Then further, see in today's class, we solved the problems of exercise three point one. We have completed till fifth problem. All the problems we have to use laugh indices. Just we'll summarize. Many times we use a per zero as one, and we used a per m into a per n. What is a per m into a per n? A per m plus n. Then we used a per m by a per n. What is a per m by a per n? A per m minus n. Then we used One by a per m, one by a per m. We wrote it as what a per minus m, and vice versa. And a per m whole per n was there. A per m whole per n. We wrote it as a per m into n. And q root of a, q root of a can be written as a per one by q. These are the formats we used to simplify. Practice these problems, and we'll go ahead with some more problems in my next session. Thanks for attending. Thank you.